Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to another live daytime stream. As opposed to a not live stream? I don't know, whatever. Welcome to Entrouded. We're playing some more of this today because uh, it came out this week. I've been excited for it to release. Had a lot of fun playing it so far, and today I want to work a bit on improving our base. Uh, we started this uh, last... Uh, what was it? Uh, yes, well, yesterday morning, I guess. Uh, we started working on uh, some changes to the base. Uh, I've had a chance to gather a little bit more of the flintstone so I can make some more of the roofing pieces we need. Uh, find a good deposit that's actually really close to my house, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so we'll work on making some improvements there so we can increase the comfort level, get our buff a little stronger, and uh, generally just uh, improve our position to continue adventuring in the world. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very much for the support, it's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes mem uh, remain members. Uh, thanks for choosing that top tier membership option. Um, this is the house we have right now. It's just a dump little thing. Something simple we made to have the basics of you know, survival or whatever that we needed. Uh, and then uh, the compound that I'm making is the one that's around it. We're going to get rid of the house that's in here when I'm ready to move it. Uh, right now I still need something I can use to rest in and what have you. Um, but I got a decent amount of, uh, of uh, flintstone mined up. Not a huge amount, but a decent amount. Um, I made a couple more chests because I was running out of storage. These chests that are made with the wood and the nails have a full extra row of storage in them too, which is nice. Uh, and they're also the ones that I can convert into the magic chests that'll work automatically for crafting. Uh, so we'll want to get those swapped over when we can. Uh, but I've got 292 flint mined up, which actually took a little bit longer than I thought it would, just because when you're mining, you really only get like one flintstone occasionally it's not even like i guess it's you get more um uh you get it pretty steadily but it's just not uh, you're not accumulating it in large amounts um and i tried the trick where you put down an, a flame altar and use that to destroy uh the the terraforming tool to destroy the ground and get resources that way but uh, they seem to have fixed it so it doesn't give you a lot so that uh, sort of ruled that option out. Uh, I've got a little bit of stone as well. We'll need that to make more of these uh, these these uh, stone shingle roof blocks. Um, but anyway, we'll get started on those. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've started the roof around the outside here. Uh, we're going to do the same thing around the other side. And then um, on the inner side here, we're going to have a, the roof sloping inwards. So it becomes like um, a compound with an open center and then stuff around the outside. Uh, I'm going to put a, a main building back here, I think. That will sort of... I hate that that gate up front is not centered. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I'm going to put a main building back here. so Because I need something that can enclose and uh, increase the comfort level and stuff. And I might even make it uh, two or three stories. So it sort of sticks up above the wall. And then I might have some smaller rooms on the sides or whatever. But we can put the vendors on... They don't really need to be indoors, I don't think. We can just have them around the outside. And, uh, and I'll, I'm not going to have an inner wall in here. I'm going to have pillars um, so that it's sort of like a... Almost like a Japanese courtyard compound kind of thing. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see what it's like. I don't know. I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll try it out. Hey. Got a few things I would like to try in the game. Because I'd like to try making a, uh, a cliffside base as well. Where you like dig into the walls and stuff. And you just have like the face of a castle stuck to the side of a cliff. But your whole base is inside. I think that would be kind of cool to make too. Um, but not what we're working on right now. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and work on some of these roof shingle things. I probably should have crafted these off stream because the game flashes a lot. If you have ter um, if you have epilepsy, I don't recommend watching the screen for a moment because it's going to flash a lot while we're crafting. I don't know if we can scrap parts to recover the materials, so I... I, I kind of want to be at least a little careful about how many of these things I make, but I just made 5,000 of them. <laughs> That's a fair amount of roof pieces. I feel like that should probably last us at least a little bit. Oh, I need, um... Where's my hammer? I'm gonna have this sucker. Throw sort of like a key. That'd be cool. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't flash on the side. It goes, uh, ghostly wide zoom. Oh, does it? Okay, so when I'm, uh, yeah, when I'm crafting, it's like a, a like a, a white thing that flashes outwards, just over and over again. Anyway, whatever. Might be slightly different on stream. Um, all right, here's our, well, we'll get the four meter roof pieces. We'll take these ones here. Oops. Uh,
Um, this corner piece is always a problem. I think I need to turn off snapping to get this to fit right. So, it's been a little bit fiddly trying to get these pieces to sit quite the way that I want them to. With a little bit of finessing, it seems to work alright. The gate of the, the gate at the front is a little screwed up for the roofing. I'm going to try to fix that when we get back around again. Oh, come on. Let me, let me up on top of my wall. Double jump is awesome, but for some reason, sometimes it doesn't let me up. Uh, so we'll go this way. That got me up there. Okay, so that strips out that section. There is a weird join there, but that can be fixed easy enough just by slapping in another one of these. That didn't work. <laughs> I don't know where that built. Oh, come on, it's... it's that's not working. Okay. I thought it could be fixed easy. You know what, I probably need... Oh, wow. Okay. Anyways, Man, I made a hot mess of that. Here, we'll, we'll join on that side, and then this side here I can just stick... There we go. That's better. I think that worked. Yeah, that seems to have a sort. Although I got a bit of a weird peak at the top there. Hopefully that will change when I put the other side down. Yeah. Good. No chance that part of the roof is going to leak, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just leave a gap. I'm sure it's probably fine. Um, okay, this corner I had a lot... Oh, what the... Oh, that's too much. Um, this corner I had a lot of trouble with before, so... Hopefully it doesn't present as many problems this time. I mean, that looks okay, but let's look out here. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Score. Okay, and then uh, if I get rid of this here, let's see if I can get a better merge just off of the end of this thing. I think that, that cleaned up the, the main entrance there, too. Everything's, like, lined up a little bit better than it was before. Sweet. The thing that's gonna bother me is that the cent the gate there's not exactly centered, but... What are we gonna do? Yeah, this game is joining much for part. It does, yeah. And so it'll also finish all the edges up for you. So when you craft something... Um, so, like, here's where I put down my, um, my, fl my um, flame altar. And then I have regular flooring around it. Where you can see the edge of where the flooring ends, it does like this little stone pattern to make it so it's like an edging. Uh, it also does it on walls and windows and stuff, so when you break out a window, it automatically puts a frame around it. Lots of neat little finishes. Like when you put the roof pieces up, it'll automatically make your end pieces for you so that it looks proper. Oh my god, I gotta stop these guys from yelling at me. What do you want? Man, they're giving me more, more quests. Investigate the troubling rumors. Flame Order heard troubling rumors. Something horrible and grotesque is happening in the Springlands. An abomination and abuse of the elixir. Please end the reign of terror before it's too late. Just keep giving me quests, man. Flame protection. Flameborn! Do you know why they call you that? You were forged from a sacrificial union between the ancients and humans. The ancient flame soul allows you to enter the shroud unharmed, but its glow doesn't last forever. With this power, you can rebuild the world, no matter what. Okay, great, thanks. I think we already covered that. The VUCA. Lately, I can't help but wonder. The VUCA were always somber beasts bound to their caves, but they've been traveling east, aggravated. Perhaps this warrants an investigation. Maybe at their gathering location, you can find some answers. I hope to know what they're up to. A test of skill. Your step is silent, your eye is determined. You've been on the hunt. I won't ask what wild beasts you track, but your spoils are presentable at best. Try gathering some animal fur, then we can talk. Talking about, I already got animal fur. I wonder if I just if I just pick it up from the chest. I wonder if she'll consider the quest set completed. <laughs> That'd be nice. 
I'm only level 7 so far. Leveling has been a little bit slower than I actually thought it would be. Look at that, I found animal fur. Got what it takes. Animal fur acquired. What is that? Some sort of blight permeates every fiber. The skin is fibrous and porous. Changed already, and there goes the dog. I think we had a package delivered. <laughs> In the end, the shroud reaches all. Animal, soldier, king, all our bones crack the same. Here, I'll share my hunting grounds with you. I'll mark it in my journal. Walk my trails and release them in my stead, flameborn. The location charted. So she keeps giving me stuff. Um, unfortunately, the uh, I've looked online and apparently I'm not the only one having issues with the map. Um, wow, she marked it pretty far away. Oh, we got stuff way outside the normal range of where we are. Uh, I'm not the only one who's been having issues with... Uh, with frames on the map. I guess when you zoom out on the map, it tends to tank everybody's frames. Uh, hopefully they'll come up with a solution for that, because it's kind of annoying on stream, but... Um, salt mine location. So the stuff they... Oh, what's this over here? Ancient obelisk. I already found that. Another flame sanctum over there. There's an area I have to go to to find some new enemies, because i got to get the head of this, this one... This one per, uh, monster to like upgrade my stuff. Maybe we should go after the Alchemist Mortar at some point today too. It's hard not to want to like go and explore in this game. But today, we're, to start, we're gonna work on building. But I, I do want to go and explore some more. Shush! Can't hear the dogs bark. Yeah, they're they're virtually silent. Did they have a small update? Um, yeah, they they've had a few little updates since uh, since release. I don't know what, exactly what all they've fixed, but I know they've been working on some server related problems they had. Okay, so, uh, inner courtyard, uh, maybe I should start at a corner. This is like building a Minecraft too, we don't even need like supports for stuff in here. I if this is going to be a big enough compound. I thought this looked huge when I started it, but um, now that I'm putting the inner roof slope on, the courtyard's looking smaller. <laughs> I have snapping on. Why aren't you snapping to this thing? It almost feels like I messed up that corner, but it looks alright. That's yeah, alright. Wish I had an optional mode for building limits or weights, sort of like Icarus of Elheim. Oh, you mean so like if it would uh, if it would give you the option of, of having structural things? Yeah, I mean you could actually I might <laughs> I might later build a flying base in this game. Um because you don't actually have to uh, you don't have to have structural support, even to the point of like not having to touch ground. Because you can build something up and then undercut it, and it will just sort of float there. <laughs> we joined it. We've joined to the old house. We have like it's a mutant base now. Um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this for the uh, the transition. All my stuff's kind of in the way. Why not now? Well, the bigger issue will be like getting up to the base. I mean, I could set uh, once you have a, a flame uh, up there, you could you could teleport to it. Um, but you'll need to gather, like, a whole bunch of terrain in order to build the ground, because you'll have to basically, like... I'll build one, eventually, but um, what we'll have to do is, like, build a pillar up, and then build a platform, and then destroy the pillar underneath, but we have to have a flame up, up uh, on the top so that we can actually teleport. Otherwise, you won't be able to get back up there. But it would be neat to have one, like, flying up over the, over the shroud. Uh, although you can't build in the shroud, so that, that could be hard, but... Um, have one, like, build up over the shroud with the base on it, so, like, when you wanted to, you could just jump off and glide to wherever you needed to go. Lots of scaffolding, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it would, it'll be an adventure to make. It's definitely gonna take a fair amount of time, but something I really want to do. Okay, so 
Oh, there's a weird, a weird peak gap right there in the middle. It doesn't it doesn't finish the peak. Uh, okay, so I've got uh, one corner in and one side in. Um, I think I'm gonna make this house take up most of the back of this actually. So let's destroy that. Um, I need. I'm gonna need um, stone wall pieces. Giant ramp to extend over the shroud? Yeah, I might be able to do it that way. You have to do, um, it'll have to be terrain to build it up though, I think. Because I'll need to be able to, to connect terrain to build the ground. Um, it, it's probably just gonna take like a ton of dirt we'll have to, we'll have to collect. Um, and then just go from there, I guess. Uh, right. Uh, I'm gonna wind up destroying the part of the, the outer sloping roof here too, I guess. Um, we need walls. That was not the right wall. There we go. I don't know. I'm not positive how big I need this thing. It just feels like I'm gonna wind up like cutting so deep into the courtyard. This I might actually have to blow out the back wall here a little bit and make the, the stick out a little farther back. Oh, I've got room back here, so I could do that. Probably a little overkill on the size of that foundation, but... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Give me all the loots! Okay, so this way I can kind of have it sticking out a little farther. such. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I guess I didn't, uh, I gotta put another little foundational piece there. The door frame, but it'll work. it won't. Um, there we go this way. I can stick blocks on here. I just need an undersurface to attach the wall to, otherwise it doesn't seem like it's going to want to attach. Come on. There. Maybe that'll work. Weird. Okay, I don't understand why this isn't letting me build here. Literally can't connect on the end of this wall. And the foundation's not connecting either. How did I even connect to the inside that way? <clears throat> Let me get the street lines. What if I start on this instead? There we go. We'll build it the other way around. Oh, I see what the problem is. I'm just out of... Oh, okay, I'm out of... Uh, never mind. Out of materials. <laughs> I got, gotta make more stones. Uh, Rough stone block. I make flintstone blocks, too. That's expensive, though. Kind of a weird mechanic in this game to get used to the fact that you have to have pre prefabricated the materials to build with. I'll adapt eventually.
Okay, I'm gonna go, uh, we'll do this multiple stories, so might as well get the second one up here. I want it to stick above the, um... Above the roof line, so maybe I'll do this, I might do this three stories high. Definitely gonna take time and materials. <laughs> what are you doing to me, game? There. Keep rotating and flipping it back on me. That roof needs to be fixed. Oh no, that's. The oh no, okay. Uh, crap. So. I'm what, one, two, three roof pieces in on this side. What am I on the other side? I'm not even close on the other side. I'm only like one in, right? Two in. One, two. Okay, this has got to, I got to move this. This is not being done to engineering specifications, so we, uh, we are going to have to experiment a bit. <laughs> the way it finishes the edges of the pieces, though. Okay. Oh, come on, let me up. Double jump for the win, baby! Uh... Okay. <laughs> Building on top of this might prove tricky. Ooh, there is a, a, a ceiling to where you can build, too. So that might actually make making a sky base more challenging. I didn't notice the roof in, of the box. Um, not that we're doing that yet, but I can see, like, when we get to the point of trying to build a sky base, it, uh, it might be interesting to try, to try to make it. Just, we might have to, like, constantly move the terrain up. And then get rid of the flame altar underneath to move it up to the next level that we want to maintain. That'll be interesting. That's gonna be a, like just a silly amount of work. Yeah, so when you put your your flame altar down, it, it defines a, a boxed area around it that is the space where you can build. In that area, you can use your hammer to destroy things, build things, and yeah, whatever. Um, it also protects everything within that area from uh, from respawning. Um, so when you log out of the game and come back in, everything that's outside of your flame altar resets. And only the things that are inside will, will stay. Uh, and so if you've been mining, for example, and you've dug out like a whole section of, I don't know, like flintstone, for, for example. Uh, if you don't have a flame altar there, when you leave the game and come back in, all that flintstone will have reset and you can regather the resources again. So you end up having like infinite resources that way. Have I upgraded the area? I, I have. So I have one upgrade so far. Um, upgrading the... Oh, well, actually, um, so I did the Strength and the Flame, uh, which gives you, like, Shroud and stuff, but you can actually do the Upgrade Altar here using Shroud Cores, and that'll increase the area. So um, it'll bump it up to 80 by 80, actually, if I uh, if I drop a Shroud Core in there. I was trying to resist using the Shroud Cores because I want to use them for the chests, but um, we could bump it up a little bit bigger. Uh, where I have this sitting, I'm wondering if I'm going to run into a problem where I can't, I can't upgrade it because it'll overlap with um, one of the town areas, which seem to be protected from putting down a, um, a flame altar. Okay, so now it's level two. So now to upgrade, I'd have to, I'd have to uh, use five shroud cores to upgrade to the next one to get it to 120 by 120 cube. So now if we go switch to our hammer. So you can see the, the orange line out there is the uh, the outer limit of where we can build and what's protected. Uh, and we're now, it's now, the box is now big enough that I can't see the top of it from where we are anyway. But um, now that I've expanded it, it's all the way out to here. If I expand it again, it's going to push into this fort area and I don't know if I can even put an altar over here, so I'm wondering how that'll happen. 
if it'll just like stop the, the line on that side. We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and find out, I guess. So much better system than Valheim system for spawning blocks. It's it's actually really the building of this is really cool. I think people are gonna come up with some pretty incredible designs for things. I hate that that's my entryway is not centered. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wind up fixing that. It's gonna bother me. Anyway, let's get our roof pieces back on here for the sides. So I want this to merge, but I don't want it to blend into the into the wall too much. Yeah, there we go. No, I literally can't even see the other side. It's getting dark. I'm gonna need to, uh... That's good. Let's sleep. We'll make it daytime so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Doesn't hurt to keep the rest of the buff up, too. Don't forget gutters. <laughs> nah, we'll just let it dump on the people inside. It's fine. Keep in mind, I believe the altar upgrades are specific to that altar. They are indeed, yeah. So if you go to another altar, it'll... Or if you put down another altar, it will be level one. Uh, if you... If you were to destroy this altar uh, by turning the flame off, uh, it will despawn. All the buildings will stay, but the next time you reload, everything you had built inside that area will be gone. So your entire base can get wiped out that way. Um, which could be problematic. This whole corner back here is not joined. What's going on up there? I'll have to fix that when we actually get a little bit of height. Okay, we want this. I need some more walls. Gutters are terrible for foundation. I suppose that depends. Very nice. I'm gonna put ones with windows in them from the second floor here, but um, nice thing is we can create windows anywhere we want to, so um, I'll make some tweaks afterwards and figure out where I want different window placements. That at least gives me an interior I can work with. I wonder if I can just pick up the door that's here. Okay. My door now, baby! Where's my door? There we go. It's kind of a barren looking place, but we'll make it a little bit more homely. Homey, not homely. <laughs> I mean, maybe it will turn out homely, but... Um, I'd like to have wood floors in here, maybe, if possible, but... Like, these wood floors look nice. Actually... Was that the ring of the wood foundation I put down, or did it change to make, look, make it look like that when I put this indoors? Interesting. Where's the, uh... Let's try that out. Uh, oh, actually, there's probably not enough of those wood pieces made. Um... I need to change materials. No, it just looks like wood automatically. I don't have enough pieces, but like I want, I want to do that in there. Is there a dog in the game? Uh, not that I know of. At the very least, I haven't found one yet. Did I put all the wood? I know I have a whole bunch of it. I stuck it some other day. All right. 
I like these tarred wood blocks. I'd like to use those in there, but I don't have enough tar. It takes five tar per hundred of these things you make. And each each square you make is like 256 blocks or something. When you build it, I think it's something like that. Um, yeah, build an underground area. Yeah, we can do that too. So we could put a basement in here. And the nice thing is using the, the train deformation tool, you can just like eliminate the dirt without having to dig it all up. Uh, all right, we'll go with we'll go with rough wood blocks for now, but I'm gonna want to change those out to something a little bit more fancy later. I think. Oh, do I actually have to remove it? Oh yeah, okay, I gotta remove it though to change it. Oh, it's actually, it's only taking 64 of these. I thought it was like 200 and something when I did it before. Maybe I'm using a different kind of block. Oh, even that one's only 96. Ah! Okay, wood floors will be better in here than, uh, than stone, I think. Pick up some of these things and move them. Actually, well, you know what? Hold on, I'll put those back down. I uh, I want to make a second floor for my bedroom, I think. I'll, on the first floor, I'll do my crafting stuff, and then second floor, I'll try to get, like, a high comfort level so that I can get a good buff out of it. It's funny how tiny this fireplace is. I might have to make, like, a proper fireplace. put a campfire inside of a like a, a crafted fireplace 256 is walls oh that's what it is okay I, I knew I had seen that number somewhere <laughs> uh, okay we need stairs now where are our stair options Do more narrow stairs. I like that idea. I think I'll put him. I'll put him in this back corner here. We can put a little platform. Little platform there for a turn. We'll go up to the second floor that way. I like the stair choice you have in the game, not one choice of annoyingly wide. Yeah, it is It is cool. I like that all the block choices that you have different options. So you have your, your one meter blocks, your two meter, your four meter, and then your terrain stuff. And so you can sort of swap a whole bunch of things around. Like even this... Um, this door frame, for example, you could use that as the mantle on a fireplace instead of as a door frame. Like, I think it just adds, like, a, a good amount of variability. The, what I don't like is that it, I don't really care for that edging when I'm using it on something indoors. I, I like something that's a more of a refined wood, but there might be something later that I just haven't unlocked yet. That's 56 for the floor blocks. Uh, I need more wood. Yeah, I know I need to tear down the old house, but it will automatically fix this gap in the wall when I tear it down. Um, if it doesn't, I can easily I can easily patch over that. Uh, I'm just trying to like build the um, the structure in here before I move all the stuff from the old house over, so I have a place to put things.
Okay, I won't smack my head on that, so that's handy. There we go. Oh, look, it even puts, like, the stone underneath the edges to hold the floor up. <laughs> Lots of neat little details in this game that way. With the building. Okay, so that's second floor. We definitely need some windows back here. Um, I want this to be the, probably the living quarters here. We'll put another staircase in this other corner. So we can go to a third floor. Oops, not there. Yeah, that fixes that corner too now. <clears throat> oh, God, so yet not sure when it will be with this plant. Yeah. I mean, it only just came out in early access. So, well, um, actually, this is on, um, this is on Game Pass, isn't it? Could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of Pal World. <laughs> Is there a roof peak piece? I guess um, I could do these two meter ones. If I can actually get up there to see it. Come on. Hooray! Use root pieces to edge the stairs to enclose them in stone. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Hopefully, I'll try that out. We'll see what it looks like. Ah! That hurt. I just lost half my health. <laughs> it's a long drop from up there, apparently. Who knew? Falling off the roof was bad. Maybe I'll make my living quarters on the top floor. Kind of cool up here. Oh yeah. Okay, so roof peaks are something I have a I had a hard time with before. Um We'll get up out on the outside on the roof and it might be easier to place that. Then hopefully I just don't fall off again. <laughs> I love the way the blocks merge together when you build. It's, uh... There. So you can get, like, a nice a nice flat finished roof and stuff when you put things together. It automatically does the... a little connector on the top. You know, like the rain thing they put on the strip on the peak of houses. That's pretty cool. Holy Drew with a huge super chat! 
This amount of no way reflects the incredible enjoyment your content has provided over the years. Thank you for the entertainment at last. Well, thank you, Drew, for the huge super chat. That's enormously generous. My god. You can jump from floor to add root pieces too? Yeah, I just I wanted to get a, a nice... Oh, that's why it didn't quite line up when I was doing it. <laughs> I wanted to get a nice even fit. And then I didn't get it anyway because I botched it. There we go. That's why I had that tiny little gap over there. And why this side isn't fitting right either. Yeah, you know what? Just redo it all. Work work this time. Dang it! <laughs> I got a weird oh wait, it's this roof piece that's wrong. Wow, Drew, that's huge. Blown away. Thank you for the uh the super chat, that's amazing. <laughs> Come on! There. Now it's fixed, mostly. I, there's gotta be somewhere else I misaligned it to get that kind of an outcome, but... It looks like it's okay. I love that it all fits and looks right, but there's like little imperfections, like this one here is like intentionally tilted outwards a tiny bit, so that it still looks natural and not really fake. That's cool. Uh, there are later on, I think, some different roofing pieces we can get. We can get, like, the red tile sort of roofs that might actually look cool on this. Uh, I need to put some proper windows in that upper floor. I think maybe I'll use the top floor for my room so that I can have a windows looking outward, too. But in the meantime, we can start moving some of this stuff over. Uh, I want crafting on the bottom floor, and then we'll do... Um, Uh, we'll do the living quarters upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle floor. Maybe I'll do like a... Uh... Oh, I gotta, I gotta clear the storage to pick it up. Um, maybe I'll do, I don't know, like a... Like a alchemy lab or something on the second floor. I don't know. Something. I'm gonna need some lighting in here too. It's a little, little on the dark side. Actually, if I'm gonna do the alchemy upstairs, I'll do. Uh... Oh, man, it's really foggy in here. What's going on with that? Do a little grindstone here. I think later there's like some different alchemy tables we can make. Um, I don't know that that the rooms are probably gonna look a little bit empty until I can add like find and add some more decoration stuff to put in. Uh, I guess we'll put the drawing rack at the back. Stick our forge over here too. Hey, what else do we have? I guess I didn't have much else for crafting, did I? <laughs> I spent more time adventuring than building so far. This is the first time I've actually like committed much time to this. Do storage early. You have a ton of crap to move now. Yeah, exactly. Uh so moving won't be too hard with the, the chest now because you can just pick them up and move them and I can transfer stuff over. But yeah, like if you, uh, if you take, definitely if you take too long, it's, um, or like it, you don't decide until later on that it is, does become a bit of a nuisance because you got so much stuff already built. Oops. All right, so put our blacksmith over here. Uh, we're gonna want our hunter by the drying rack, I guess, because I don't know reasons. The farmer lady, I didn't build her stuff yet, I don't think. Emily Frey, she's still got stuff that, uh, that I need to build for her. To unlock her, her crafting potential. Going from power to this is a huge gear shift. Yeah, a little bit, huh? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the alchemist I can put upstairs. Oh, the, they're right, the carpenter. I haven't built his thing yet either. I might actually run out of room in here for the carpenter stuff. Uh, you know what? I can put the workbench over there. We'll put the carpenter in this corner. You can stand back here. Uh, I do want to put some windows in, so let's uh, let's open up and get some light in here. See, when you build the uh, build windows too, it automatically puts the little arches at the top, so you got a shape to the window. Until you put like an actual window frame in it, and then it'll like change to accommodate the window frame. Uh, okay, let's put these upstairs for now. I'm gonna wind up changing those around, but I, I do need some place to sleep. Oh, we'll get the mat too. That'll be good for decorative. Get some torches in here. That was only one. <laughs> I guess I only have one torch. I didn't make lighting a priority, I guess. There we go. They light pretty well. I kind of like that. That's a good amount of light. What the? All oh, right, I forgot I put that in here. <laughs> You can knock out individual little spots in the roofing pieces, too. I hadn't tried that yet. So if you wanted to put like a chimney through your roof... <laughs> there you go. Or a little trap door, maybe. Or even a window. If you wanted to put like a gabled window or something on this. So like if I were to go and... Uh, take this as an option. I might have to turn off snapping to get this to work. I'm not keeping this here, I'm just I'm just putzing around to experiment. You know, obviously. And then you could do like a tiny little roof peak on that. Stick out at different spots. What's going on here? <laughs> it creates like the little gabled, gabled windows kind of thing. So fancy. Stone doors? Uh, I don't think you can make stone doors, because you actually craft doors. Um, they aren't part of the building tool. Instead, you craft them and then you place them. Same thing with windows, actually. There's like window... Um, little window frame kind of things you can get. Can't tell if I'm lining that up right. Anyway, I'm not keeping it anyway, but look, you can... So that Just an example of like how you can get a little, little more creative with what you're making. It was a joke when I heard your dog. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah. It's cool, though. God, I love the, uh, I love the flexibility that it gives. I'm telling you, some people are gonna come up with some pretty awesome things to make, and I just butchered it. Not that I'm keeping it anyway, but... Cool. Kind of makes me, actually, kind of makes me want to lower the size of my walls here so I can have the the roof with the gables in it. <laughs> anyway, let's get rid of all this. If I can. Oh God, no. Okay, it's not. 
Something's not right. It's not letting me pick this uh, this thing I built. I've just created an abomination in my house. <laughs> I might have to like break this thing a block at a time. Mistakes might have been made here. I, I think I shouldn't have messed around with this inside. <laughs> Bed canopy now? Yeah, I almost. I mean, I'm curious to see if there's like some other types of beds we can craft, because so far I just have that one that looks ridiculous. It's like sleeping on a on a pallet, basically. Uh, wait, I really like the way the light comes in though when you break stuff open. No, I need the four meter roof piece. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> Only a minor accident. It was just a minor problem. It's like erasing one pixel at a time. Right, right. My wife and I keep accidentally play the game for play the game for hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I find when you get like uh, when you get into like building and stuff in games like this, I, I do find that it um, very quickly gobbles up time. Um, I need to make some windows in here. <laughs> it's so bright out, I can't even see out the darn window. Oh, that one's squared. What happened there? That's weird. Why didn't it do the little finishy pieces on that one? Weird. All right, I have no idea why that one's not creating the arches at the top. <laughs> That one did. See, like again, I don't, I don't get it. That flexibility for building is awesome. I I don't know. Edge of the block, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe I got like a seam between two walls or something? I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. It works fine over here though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks in from that side. One, two, three, four, crap. I want to be at least kind of symmetrical. One, two, three between. One, two, three between. There we go. Windows! Not that you can see a lot out of them, but you can see something. Maybe I should put a balcony out there. I don't know. Too, I guess. Um, there's my bed. I need a... I'll just put the bed and fireplace down quickly because I do need a room that has a level of comfort in it in order for me to uh, get my buffs back. <laughs> That is a Spartan bedroom right there. Wrap around side like a lookout tower, which oh the balcony? Well it'll it would intersect with the roof because of where I have the roof out here for the um the outer courtyard wall. It's gonna bother me that this thing is not finishing. I might have to take the another window frame and plug it in there. Uh I would like windows back here too. Another square one. I don't get it. 
confuses me. Anyway, this this floor is not gonna get a whole lot of light unless uh, I'm gonna have to put some more torches in here. Uh, let's see what we have for roof edgings we can do. Um, you were saying something about putting roofs on these on the edge. Oh, maybe maybe these things. Is this what you're talking about? Putting that on the edge, but that I don't know if that would work without enclosing the whole bottom of the stair in. Also, snapping funny. Turn the snapping off, and I can kind of line the edge of it. Is it a bit of a more of a finished look if I do it that way? I wonder if I should just enclose the whole base of the stair, and, or if I should leave it open like that. Um, if I if I leave it this like this, I'm gonna need some individual blocks though. That's that's too big. Kind of like finish off the back of the stairs here, lady. You're in the way. Who put you there? Sort of works, right? It's not awful. <laughs> Holy cow, this floor is dark. Wow, okay, hold on, I gotta go make another torch or something. Oh wait, uh, that's right here. Gotta move all my benches. Uh, what do we got? Oh wait, I can make the... Where do I make the wall torches? Is it this guy? That's for storage for those fancy chests. Beds, tables, chairs, benches, illumination. Ooh, look at the chandelier we can make! I gotta make candles and stuff first, though. Uh, stand lamps, polished braziers. <laughs> braziers. It's a brazier. I know. Um, if we catch more fireflies, we can make the firefly wall lamps. Those might look neat. Chris Topher with the 10 gifted memberships. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate the support. That's amazing. I just scrolled chat up so much I don't know what anyone said. <laughs> Val, I'm all over again. Mountaintop Castle too, right, Fox? Well, I may not do Mountaintop. I think I might do a flying castle. And I want I was I was saying earlier in the stream that I want to build one actually in the side of a mountain, not like mountaintop. But that'll have to come later. Uh oh, the alchemist is still in here. Uh okay. Oh, let me take this. Where's my my staff there? Let's go put the the alchemist on the second floor, even though I can't see a darn thing. You know what? Maybe I'll sleep and make it daytime because I can't see anything right now. It's freaking dark. <laughs> Comfort level's only seven, so we're not getting much of a buff. But that like you're feeling better. Who me? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Not quite for coughing quite as much today, which is nice. Kind of comes in fits and spurts. Hey, Ralph, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Daytime's come again. Uh, I need windows on the back side of things here. Uh, you know what? I might do like a huge window on this side with all the frames. Hmm. Decorative things are going to be tricky. I've got to figure a few things out for the decorative stuff. But let's get our alchemist down here. You can stand in over here or something. You stand. You hang out in the dark, buddy. How much light does this provide? Maybe a little bit. Got a nice glow to it. Need a whole lot more though. No, you're busy, my friend. But my mortar. What a help it could be. I'll mortar you right in the face. 
Uh, I have an idea for the windows, actually. Let's see. Eight. It's only a door frame option in the four meter piece. That's too big. Much too big by far. Um, I kind of want a, like a window, like a wooden lintel kind of thing on the outside of it. It might be too big though. Those are the wrong materials, but you know what I mean. Something like that on the outside, but it, it sticks out too far. I wonder if I can, if I turn off the snapping tool, I wonder if I can make it merge into the wall a little bit. Uh, no, because there's no snapping tool this way. Snapping tool only applies for some of those other pieces. What kind of mortar is he, Alchemist or Gunner? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Be weird having those guys standing around your bed as you tried to sleep. Well, that's what I had them like as before. I mean, it didn't seem to stop me from resting, but... Yes, definitely weird. Those are roof pieces. Wait, what's this one in the middle? Sounds like... Oh! Like a little cap piece. Um, I was sort of hoping I could get... Oh, that's that's much too big, but this is kind of the idea I was thinking. Like, if it just sort of peeked out a little bit, that's too far, though. One block is too much. <laughs> oh my god, I just... I buried, buried the guy on the floor. That's, too, that's a bit too much, too. Sorry, buddy. Single train block? Nope. Two by two wall block, cubes. Yeah, that just seems like overkill. That's that's too much. Sticks out too far. I was thinking like something embedded in the wall that looks like just a wooden frame at the bottom, but it's not gonna work. It's fine. Um Can I pick up the yeah, I can pick up the window. So we'll f we'll fix this square looking thing by having an actual square window in it. We can get it to rotate. Come on. There. There. Now it looks like it's supposed to be square. <laughs> the other ones, though, I gotta I gotta solve for those. Okay, do I have beams? The only beam seems to be this door frame, but I wonder if I can connect it. You know, it's not snapping to the end of Oh, the snapping tool's off. That could be why. There we go. I'm not really snapping the way I thought it would. Oh, I've got to get some more refined wood. This, uh, whoop. <laughs> I, think I, I think I misplaced that. Uh, I need some more refined wood because this um, this rough wood that I'm working with is it's too rough. Doesn't look right. It's got it's got a little too much, a little too much roughness to it. going on here? I mean the snapping point. There we go. Uh, now that I just did that, that feels low. I don't think it is, but it feels low. Can't do angled beams. That's one of the things that I... Not super thrilled. Oh, actually, I kind of could. 
I go with this one. Hold on, I gotta go on top of here if I can. Why is that facing? Oh, that's a roof block. Okay, never mind. Not what I thought. You gonna play the Sunday as well, Fox? Uh, that's the plan, yep. That's the plan. We might do more adventuring tonight, because we're focusing on building this afternoon, or this morning, whatever time frame it is. I guess it's afternoon now. I'll do my adventurizing. But if I can get a decent-sized base going here, that we can get, get the comfort level up. Get those nice comfort level buffs. That'll be sweet. I'm trying to make a match down below, so I'm trying to put all the same kind of pieces in. There we go. That kind of like frames in the stairs a little bit. Not entirely sold on the look of that, but it uh, it works for now. It's really hazy in here. Probably because it's foggy out here too. The the uh, the walls don't seem to stop fog very well. <laughs> probably can make a roof window. Probably. Okay, we got that. Uh, we need to transport some of these chests over now. So we'll, uh, take all. You know, I didn't really think about where I was going to put storage in here as I was, like, like sticking stuff down. <laughs> I guess I could put storage on this side. I got my carpet to put down. <laughs> Comfort level eight. Is it too enclosed? Do you want shroud? Because that's how you get shroud. Yeah. The shroud is uh, in a different area, fortunately. Is there any sort of a railing? Not that I've seen, although there might be something we can craft in here. Uh, blocks, decorations, comfort tables, fireplaces, chairs. Oh, there, yeah, there's still only one type of fireplace. And one type of chair. Benches. Illumination. Perhaps we may get a glimpse of how it looked so many years ago with that little illumination. Uh, regular fences. But I, I, like I said, I think there's still things that I haven't unlocked yet. There's bathroom stuff! Oh my god, we can have a lavatory. Oh, I didn't build a bathroom, but we're going to have to. <laughs> How do I make the candles again? Oh, Fences. <laughs> what a nice hotel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got to move more stuff. Take it all. Yeah, I'm hoping like uh, as we go along, we'll we'll find things like I don't know, like weapon display stands and stuff, armor stands, things like that. We can use to like both store stuff and put it away. Uh, actually, I've got these campfires. I might put those upstairs. Some building materials. Well, I'll put them in here for now. while we're moving things. These chests I ultimately want to change out to better chests anyway, because the um, 
The ones that let you... Back. Uh, the, the ones that let you build out of them directly will be, like, infinitely more useful. That one's empty, so I can just grab it. Actually, let's grab, um, uh, if I can make that thing right now, is it this guy I gotta talk to? I gotta, oh, I gotta find the chest that has those, uh, cores in it. This one here. So if I take that wooden chest and then I use a core with this guy, then we can turn it into the small magic chest. And then the magic chest will let me craft anything that's stored in it. Without having to go and pick up the pieces. Oh, come on. Give me that back. There we go. Now we grab all these. This guy, and now I have access to the cores that I put in that chest over there. So we want to ultimately I want to change them all over to these magic chests because the magic chests are just way better. Magic chest, my friend. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Don't give me not enough free space. I literally have one stack right next to it. It's the same way. Whatever. Put it down there. Might be clipping over or something. start tearing all the rest of this stuff down. Open up the courtyard a little bit. I can't even see past this piece I'm using. Can I craft? Oh, it definitely left a gap there in the, <laughs> in the wall. I thought it would auto-fix, but it definitely did not. I've got a weird... Ah! There. A weird, like, grass finish on that one, too. Um, now here's a question. Can I build out of a chest? Even though I don't have the materials on me when I'm... No, I can't. It's only showing the 49. So I put some building materials in here. So you can't make base... You can't do base building out of it. You can only do, like, chest-based crafting, I guess. When you've got stuff in the, in the magic chests.
Oh crap, I broke my wall. <laughs> Didn't even notice I did that. How big of a section did I take out? Was that a full wall section? I guess it was. There we go. Um, now I need to fix the uh, space above the here. Yeah, apparently can't put a door frame there. Come on, get, let me get into this into the gap. I thought this would be an easy fix. Why is it not letting me do it? Still looks like a wall. Uh, still looks like a roof in there, actually. It is. That's weird. There we go. Make sure it looks okay in here. Yep. Splendid! I see why they made scaffolding. Yeah, for sure. Like, as soon as you start building something big on the outside, scaffolding would definitely be helpful. You can reach pretty far with the crafting tool, but, uh... Yeah. Definitely useful. Oh, I didn't pick up my roof pieces. Okay, so the roof's done on the courtyard. Um, let's move this thing. A lot more, actually, a lot more space underneath this than I was thinking. I wonder if I should make that smaller. Ah, wonder how high you can go. Well, I, so it's based on the. Um, your, fl your flame. So, uh, you can upgrade your altar to change the size of the space you can work with. I can currently do 80 blocks by 80 blocks by 80 block cube. The next upgrade will bump that up to 120. I don't know what altar level you can get up to, because obviously I haven't uh, expanded past where I am just yet. But, uh, as you expand the size of your, or expand your altar, you'll expand the size of your, um, your building area. Uh, let's try and get some pillars in here. What do we make that's gonna look pillar like? These four meter ones, I guess? Or should I go with. I'll probably go with stone just because they're. Uh... Yeah. Um, we'll go with stone because it'll look better in general, I think, but oh, that didn't work at all. Hold on there. Do enemy game. It's not a very finished looking stone, though. This... Wow, this is really a lot bigger in, underneath this roof than I thought it would be. I have like a, a whole house worth of space underneath all this roofing. Oh, I gotta fix this floor, too. <laughs> I found some wood. I see how small my little courtyard is. I kind of want a bigger one. <laughs> I think the snapping needs a uh, little work. It's often offset. Yeah, it, it seems to depend on where what it's trying to attach itself to. I don't know. So this one... The trick here, too, is that I kind of... I messed around with the wall in the background there where I made the doorway. 
but that's probably not helping. That's offset. There we go. It is hard sometimes to get it to aim where you want it to for the snap. That was easy, though. Ah, no! Uh... It does light up the flooring, though, where it's going to make the snap, which is alright. That didn't work. Oh, these corners, I think, are a little funky. I might have to... You think this a tiny bit. Actually, no, that's fine. That works. My doorway is off-centered. That's gonna really bother me. Because I can't- I really can't have this pillar here. Or this one. A stone wall and add a pillar? How do you mean? You mean just like a short wall around the courtyard kind of thing? That's actually not that short of a wall. That's as high as I am. <laughs> you get individual you can build a really short wall like this. So that relative to your character it actually looks like a small wall. You can even build around your pillar, I guess, and make, like, a base around it. I'm curious what kind of other stone, um... What other stone options we'll get. Because my, my craftable stone options are, are fairly limited right now. Save a lot of mats on the floor if we just use flat. Yep, you're right. You all connect, sir. Uh, all right, I need some more torches. What does it take to make torches? Who makes the illumination? Was it the uh, the blacksmith guy? No, this guy had illumination options. Did he have wall torches? Oh, a kiln. I don't remember him telling me to make a kiln. Oh, right, there, he did have something I hadn't crafted yet. Apparently it's the kiln. <laughs> I'll have to put that outside. I need lumps of clay, which I haven't even seen yet. So we're going to have to figure out where those come from. Um, illumination. Yeah, he doesn't have the wall torches. Who's got the wall torches? It's the firefly oh, yeah. lamps. She needs seed beds to grow plants in. Farm soil. Healthy soil that will increase the growing speed of most plants. Oh, that's where you get the, what you use the bone meal for. Okay. Farewell. Farewell to you, too. Uh, all decorations? No. She's only got the one carpet. Doesn't torch a wax torch. Maybe it was the alchemist? No, he's just got books. I made a wall fly a wall torch somehow. <laughs> it can't be in my own crafting, is it? Bench, construction hammer, bandages, string, axe, campfire, torch. On stuff. No. Dang it. Where on earth did I make those wall torches from? There it is. Jeez. Oh, I need resin. Oh crap, I don't need resin? <sighs> Finding resin would be a really wonderful thing. 
Yeah, ironic is the regular workbench. Uh, oh, I want to make these double doors. But I need two regular doors first, I guess. Then we can make the uh, double wooden door. Okay, that double door is huge. <laughs> uh, I need to strip out some more blocks here, probably. Yep. That definitely gets in the way. Good size for the front of this thing, but it's uh, a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Probably a good thing. Oh, I literally can't remove it because the door is in the way now. That's funny. Yeah, I've got to strip out... Uh, Two, two rows here to fit the door properly. Need, uh, terrain. Missing materials. I guess I'm gonna need dirt or something to do that with. Put, like, a little tiny staircase, I guess, out of stone. Slightly better. What the heck am I gonna get resin? Get resin for trees that look uh, look golden. Golden trees, really? That was a mistake. So in the meantime, I could catch more fireflies. We could use those for making more firefly lanterns. Uh, I do want to make the uh, the chandelier for upstairs. I wonder how far it hangs down. So for that, I need four candles. Uh, the candles I just make in here. String of wax. How do I not have any string in my bench? Oh, you know what? It's probably in one of these other boxes. Uh, yeah, there's the resin too. Get all these things out of here. I guess those regular boxes are okay for stuff that I'm not going to use in, in the course of normal crafting. Things like terrain and stuff doesn't really need to be in a magic storage box. I'm not going to craft with it anyway. over here. Um. <laughs> I 
After putting all that work to make this courtyard roof wall, I'm actually unhappy with it. It's too big. It's too big. It shrinks the courtyard too much. I like the keep and stuff. I'll have to do some more stuff to make the front of it look a little bit more interesting because it's just a big blank stone facade right now. <clears throat> some scones in the courtyard would help. <laughs> mm, scones. We're talking like blueberry or like cranberry or... <laughs> Assuming it means sconces. Um, yeah. Some additional lighting would certainly help. But um, it still feels like I might have gone a little bit overboard on the size of it. Um, in terms of the roof pieces. I'm starting to think I should have used the 2 meter roof pieces. So it would be like... It would be almost half the size. And it would open up the center courtyard a whole lot more. I'm going to rotate this thing. What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Turn off snapping? There we go. Set that in the corner over here. <laughs> I literally can't even see it because it's too dark. Uh, I'm gonna go catch some fireflies. This will be helpful for... Uh, helpful for making some lanterns and stuff. I feel like a kid again. I'm running around catching fireflies, baby. What do I have in here in this number five spot? I had something there. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> nah, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I gotta get more honey, too. I found out that uh, the honey gives a really nice buff. Oh, the torch. That's what I had there. That was the wrong button. Dang it. I wonder if the torch will scare off fireflies. If I go to try to catch them. I think the half size roof looks sweet. Yeah, it. I think I made it too big. Uh, I think that's that's a problem. Um, I'm good with a larger peak at the front, but I, I think for the uh, oh, what happened to this poor guy? He let his fur go to waste. I think a wolf killed him. Definitely wasn't a fox. I'm sure, it was a wolf. Combat music. Am I getting stalked by a wolf? And now. Seems like a head mounted flashlight. More fireflies! Look how the anchor points flash in the dark. <laughs> For a second it took me a moment to realize what that was. Seems like if you uh, if you shoot down the beehives from a distance, the bees don't come out and swarm. And the swarms will chase you for quite a distance if you uh, don't kill them. Clay at the river? Maybe? I haven't found a river yet, I don't think. It seems almost like the um, um, like the shroud settled into all the places where there was water, and kind of like rivers or ponds, lakes, all that kind of stuff it were like converted into the shroud. It seems almost. 
It's all the low-lying territory down there where there might have been a river running through. It's all just shrouded stuff. Sure, we'll find clay. <laughs> mold mildew mushrooms. Mm. Mildewy mushroom mold. Okay, this guy makes the these lanterns. Let's see how the these ones look. I'm gonna have to make three of them, but I don't want to go overboard if it sucks. Let's try this on a floor that's not illuminated currently. That's pretty dim. <laughs> Well, enough of these, I guess it would look alright, but it's, uh... I don't know if it's worth the effort to make those things. If they're gonna be that dim. Maybe I'll make a few of them on this floor and see what it's like. I do hanging ones too, but... We'll try three of them there and see what it's like. Uh, I mean, it's better than nothing, but it, it leaves it looking really gloomy. It's all your bathroom, don't forget to make a little offshoot room, otherwise the simple plumbing, well, you can imagine. If the trouble is, then somebody might sneak up through my uh, medieval toilet and assassinate me for, through the bum. That would be bad. <laughs> there is farming in this game, but I haven't set any up yet. Uh, there's still a few of the crafting benches I haven't made. So, like, this guy here, he wants a kiln, uh, but I gotta get lumps of clay before I can make the kiln. I don't know where to find those just yet. Uh, for the farmer, we need to make seed beds, so I have to make farm soil first. And then the seed bed is a, a raised planter, which I wasn't expecting. Let's see things germinate in a safe environment. So let's um, let's go ahead and make that. Let's see what that unlocks uh, for us with her. We'll give her a fancy little seed bed here. She can germinate her seeds indoors now. You're welcome, lady. Okay, so then in here... We can make... We have five recipes. We can make, uh... Shrub seedling, red mushroom seedlings. Seedling that will grow into a plant once sown in the right soil. Berry bushes, broadleaf trees. Evergreen trees. It'd be nice actually if the courtyard was big enough to have a couple trees in it. That would look cool. Let's have like a garden courtyard. Although there's no flowers yet, so that's that's a non thing. Put on the third floor of your balcony if they manage to get you from that distance to be impressed as you die. <laughs> yeah. You have a giant courtyard, you put your seed bed indoors. Well this is just uh this is just uh, like a, a crafting bench. The actual plants go on the ground outside. So the reason I put it in here is because I want it to be close to the storage boxes that have the things that I need to craft with, and then closer to the other vendors. Listen, I didn't say the large outdoor courtyard was going to be useful. <laughs> I just said it would be there. I don't want to. I'm. I think if I if I make the roof the smaller slopes, then I might eliminate some of the inner courtyard stone and turn it back into terrain. Plant a couple trees, maybe? Although they would block some of the uh, light from the flame. Which uh, does spread pretty well in here. Haven't figured out how to get bone meal yet. So you can get it from a couple places. Um, I found some just laying in sacks. Uh, but also, this lady here... Wait, no, wait, wait, where did I see? I saw a place I could make bone meal. Just a second. Oh, I know what it was. Um, the alchemist stuff. You can make bone meal in the grinding stones. So once you rescue the alchemist, you can build the grinding stones and make bone meal here out of the bones.
And this guy has another alchemy thing we can get. But we haven't uh, we haven't done that yet. Oh god, it's dark. It's dark and spoopy in my room. I don't know if I want to be up here. Uh, I want to put a chandelier in here. I think I'm, I, I might move those support beams up a little bit higher so I can hang a chandelier at a reasonable height. I gotta make candles first, though. I forget what I needed for those. Oh, string of wax. I got it. I got that. I think it was four to make the the uh yeah okay so that'll give me a chandelier stick that on the top floor it probably should help with comfort i guess i want to see how far down it hangs pretty far we definitely don't want that but it's probably too high if it's all the way up at the ceiling i would think Got a nice glow to it, but it's, uh, that is definitely too high up. So I'm gonna want to put some different supports here. Let's sleep and make it daytime. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. Sun's already rising. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the uptake. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I want to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. Okay, good. Get a little bit more natural light in here. Hopefully at some point we'll have different window options so I can make something that's a little bit more interesting than that, but it kind of opens that up a bit. Do I have all the NPCs already? No, I, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Um, I have five. I have uh, one. So I've got the alchemist, the carpenter, the blacksmith, the hunter, and the farming lady. I feel like there's probably going to be a stone working one. When you log in, it tells you how many you have, but I don't, I don't see a way to check, actually, no. Like it, it's not clear whether there's more. I, I feel like there's probably, like, one more for a stone, really to stone, but I don't know who, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think any of these guys have given me a quest to go find them. Um, where with each, each of these other ones, when I found someone early on, it told me to go find another one. So, beach me. Uh... Oh, right, I want to make that uh, chandelier. We'll put that in. Let's see what that does with the comfort level in here, too. Uh, I might have to turn off snapping to get that to the way I want. I can't see because of my shoulder. <laughs> my, sh my shoulder's in the way. Ah, the stone. I don't want that. Okay, now I want it to snap. Am 
Come on. That end didn't look right. Oh, God, I broke the roof. Dang it. I'm going to do that a lot. It's going to stick out too far, I think. Well, we got a sunroof now. <laughs> Crap. Mind you, now that I just moved those up, I can't, uh, can't conveniently- Oh, I can double up jump on them still. Oh, you know what? I left the, uh, the roofing pieces downstairs. I can't even fix this right now. Oh wait, I picked up the piece. That's right. God. I can fix it. I are smart. It won't let me fix it. There. <laughs> okay. That is not right. <laughs> that, that is definitely not right. Yeah, no. This one's gotta go. Try that again. God, why is that one not merging right? The other one was fine. But this one's not. to the snapping. Oh, I ran out of wood. I can't make any more crossbeams. Uh, I need to do one, like a crossbeam in the center so I can suspend a chandelier from this thing. I don't need much. I just need like one more of those things. Um... Wood block, I guess. Shroud wood blocks look alright. How am I making some more shroud wooded things? Hopefully that's centered. Okay, chandelier. is altogether too low. Even with the beams moved up higher, it's still not right. <clears throat> well, well, well. Uh, huh. I mean, how high up can I put those beams and not have it look weird? Oh, my comfort level up to nine with the chandelier hanging there, but... The warmth doesn't carry very far either. I can only go. I can only go like that far away from the fireplace before I run out of warmth. It's less than cool. Beam across center top. Yeah, well, so I can put the chandelier up there, but it was so high up, it was like uh, ineffective. For all the fuddling around with this thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it apart. I'll try moving it up a little bit higher. I can't see my body's in the way. Why would it not snap to the piece I just put there? Come on.
I'm gonna have to turn off snapping to get that to connect. That's weird. Uh, I can't even see what I'm doing. I need uh, need some stairs. Impromptu scaffolding. What the actual heck? Alright, whatever, that worked. Okay, got it finally. <laughs> no, I need the stairs back. There we go. Perfect. Now the question will be, is one chandelier enough? I think I might have to make two. Because one in the center might not light things up well enough. I might have to do like one there and one on the other side. That's a better height. I can still bump into it, but it, it actually looks like it's properly above my head now instead of like right where my head's going to be. Hold on, everybody, one second. Sorry, one second, everybody. I gotta refill my daughter's bus pass thing. All right, I'm back. Sorry, everybody. The joys of daytime streaming. <laughs> uh, all right, it's, this is super Spartan in here. I, I should be able to make some decorations and stuff, I think. Um, not here, though. This guy got decorations. What do we got decoration-wise? This guy can make dishes. Um, somewhere I can make, like, tables and chairs and stuff. 
Then we got doors. Crude wood door versus wooden doors. Only one window option. I can make the dishes in here too. Fences. These all add comfort. So I guess we'll put. Um, oh, we do a nightstand. We'll do. We'll do a little bit of everything. Chairs are kind of silly. We're gonna do a bench. Yeah, it's just enough to make another chandelier, I think. Do you have some staffs left in that other window? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, that's fancy. That's the that's the new window decoration. Uh, it's it's very avant-garde. There we go. That's better. Thank you. Okay, uh, chandelier first. We'll get that up. Or I forget. Scar, you with a super chat. You're losing warmth in your base because you don't have windows put in. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got some windows. I'll have to put. Um, I'll have to put more in, I guess. I suppose it makes sense. Timber, what are you doing here? Ain't nobody done invited you, cat. So I need uh, four more up here. I'm not as worried about the lower floors. I don't know if it makes a difference on the other floors, but I need four for that upper window or the upper floor anyway. Uh, windows. We'll deal with the comfort on the upper level first, and then we'll figure out everything else. Mind you, I think you get a buff just by being inside your building, so I might have to deal with the comfort on all the floors. See, these ones keep the stone arches. I, want, I really want to know why that one window I made would not make the little window arch at the top. It ended up being square. Determined to foil me. Yeah, see, even still, even with the windows, I've still got warmth issues. I can't only go. I can only go so far from that little tiny fireplace before I am uh, out of the, the warmth area. And I definitely have windows and everything now, uh, but I don't have on the other floors, so I don't know. Maybe that makes a difference. So I need uh, four more for here. Then we got two on the bottom floor as well. <laughs> Not, I mean, these windows are made out of wood. They don't even have glass in them, so I, I don't know. I don't know why they would help anyway. Oh, I need to pick it up to move it. There we go. They're literally just frames with no glass, so it's not like they stop anything. <laughs> I didn't make enough. Dang it. Timber, what are you doing, buddy? Old school, the super chat. Fox, you're making my building skills look bad. Man, I'm not even the fanciest of uh, builders. Um, there's going to be some crazy stuff that comes out because uh, some people are just insanely good at building things. I'm not even happy with what I have set up yet. I have to. I gotta get stuff sorted here. Um. I might have to like tweak some stuff around it. I might, like I said, I might change. The, oh, I might change the size of that that courtyard roofing. Oh, cat, you're driving me batty. How many times can I put one cat on the ground? Not on the stream today. Uh, there's no shutters um, that I can make yet. I have seen them on other buildings in the game, so I suspect that you can get them elsewhere, but um, none that I can make right now. Uh, Alright, we'll put a fireplace on each floor. Just so that we have something that's producing warmth on every floor. I don't know how much it'll matter, but... I can't get out of the way. Save your magic chest under the stairs. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'd get them out of the way, I guess. We'll put a fireplace there. Uh, I already have one on the top floor. Oh, actually, that one produced warmth on that whole side. But this whole floor is not all warm. Oh, wait, yes, it is. 
No, it's not. Okay, this floor's not warm. Uh, I should put the uh, the chest under the stairs. Kind of a pain in the butt to move them though, so I might do that later. Um. Well, for starters, if we close the door, I wonder if it makes a difference. <laughs> it made a little bit of a difference. I could put a fireplace right at the back there, but... Maybe I'll put it just inside the door. A bit weirdly placed, but whatever. Yeah, so this back wall... There's, it just has a radius around the fire. It must be a three-dimensional radius, though, because it... The fire down on this floor... Did give enough heat that it warms up above it on the top floor. But there's a pocket of cold over here in this corner with this, just out of the radius of the fireplace. I need railings to be OSHA compliant. <laughs> there's, we can't make railings yet. I could, I could uh, improvise some, I guess. Let's just try to get. Well, I'm gonna try to get our comfort level up higher, though. I want the buff. Cat, you are driving me nuts today. What is your deal, buddy? I already checked. You have food and water. Hey, okay. you just want attention? Is that what the problem is? Hey, okay. maybe later there'll be uh, more of a fi like a bigger fireplace we can create that will uh, spread more warmth around. Crude side table. I don't even know how big that is. Oh, it's it's pretty big. Little bench at the foot of the bed, not that it matters, because it's bigger than the bed is. I can't even sit on it. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's an opportunity. <laughs> if I gotta make furniture, you at least let me sit on it. Icarus says good fireplaces. Yeah, those fireplaces are awesome. Uh like I said, I this is all I have right now. It does say fireplaces. But there's only one. So I suspect we're gonna find we can make more. Maybe if, if there is an NPC that gives us like Stone masonry or something. There's also only one chair option right now. Uh, well, this, this he makes a bench with a back on it. Oh, he does have another chair option. It takes resin to make. Oh, that's a different fireplace. Back with tables. Wooden side tables. We got carved wooden nightstand. I wonder if I should put a bathroom right in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, look at the fancy doors you can get. Polished wood doors. He d oh, look, it's the window with the mantle on it that I wanted. Okay. Clearly, I should have been paying attention to what this guy was making. I mean, being the carbon at all, I can't imagine why he would have stuff. <laughs> He's got sh different types of shelving. Uh, ladders. Secret doors? Find passages in your base behind this secret door. Maybe we can do that in our basement. Not that I've made a basement yet, but we will have one, eventually. Put a secret door that opens up to give access to the basement. That's where we perform our, all our carnal experiments. Oh, there's even a bed in here. A better bed. You've got a good eye, Yeah, I do got a good eye. Okay, I do want to change out my bed. We need a better bed. Um, uh, I'm gonna put the better fireplace in my room also. Crude wooden stool doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Uh... Oh, I did have stuff on me here. Sticks can go away. Okay. I don't remember how much string I needed. Sure, it doesn't matter. Beds. There we go. Boom! We got a better bed. Watch out for splinters. Maybe I'll put the bath on the second floor since I'm gonna have a whole lot of extra space there. Uh, okay, this fireplace needs to go. In favor of. Fireplace 2.0. Where's 
Which looks neater, but... I don't know if it, hopefully it will provide a greater degree of warmth. Seems to cover the room a little bit better. Um, now I have that other one below over here, so that's... Yeah, so this corner... Oh yeah, nope, that, that fireplace I think actually spreads more warmth. The only place that's not warm is this, like, the, right in the very corner over here. Alright, this bed can go. Alright, I might need to move this too, actually. Bed 2.0, baby! Oh, look at that, we're comfort level up to 14 now. Can't wait to finally have time to play this and go bleeping nuts with the building. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh... Yeah, the building's gonna be fun in this. There's just a lot of stuff you can do. Um, I need more decorations. What does this guy have? This guy lets me make books, I think, right? Decorative books. Wow, 80 old books to make a, uh, to make a thing of... Books. Oh, that's... Hold on, we got different options here. No, they're all... They all take 80. Oh, individual books are 20. Wow. Alright, so we won't be making his decorations for a little while. I've been throwing away the extra books because I didn't really think I needed them. Um, do you have decorations? <laughs> She's like, I can decorate your house with farm soil. How about that? We can make popcorn. I gotta get corn on the cob. Plus seven stamina recharge, that's pretty sweet. No pun intended. Come back soon. What do you have for crafting decoratives, buddy? Dishes, you can make dishes. Out of metal scraps. Let me go one of those. Oh, it makes them in multiples too, oh. Uh, well that's problematic. I don't really need multiples so much. Oh, I don't know if the decorations add to the comfort level or not. Because they're not called comfort items. <laughs> it's also kind of, Oh, there we go. The, uh, the table height is a little funky. If you don't have the snapping on, it actually, uh... The cup clips into the wood. <laughs> so it doesn't sit on top of it. Same thing with the plate. Beer mug should up. Was there a beer mug down there that was, uh, a decorative item? Or, I mean, a, a comfort item? No. So we just got just decorative. Armor weapons. I don't think the decorative things help with comfort. This is, it doesn't seem so. But she's got wall decorations and carpets. Oh, I got different types of carpets now. I can make a fur rug, baby. Didn't even see that before. Straw mat. We get more plant fiber. Do multiple rugs make the room more comfortable? Or is it just the presence of the rug at all, I wonder? That didn't seem to help. Cannot build here for reasons unknown. There we go. Uh, position the bed just a little bit. I love being able to turn on and off the snapping. That is really handy. Pretty great. 
put the grass mat down in the middle of the room, I guess. I don't have anything else here to put here. There we go. Getting all fancy. Well, we're trying to make the place look a little more, uh, a little more cozy, you know? Cozy and decoromated. We got comfort level 15 so far. I'm gonna put those better windows in. I don't imagine this crude stool is gonna help too much, but, uh, yeah, why not? Wall decoration would be nice. Chandeliers provide a nice glow. It is a little dim, but it's, uh... Cool. 20 minute buff we got now. Which would be really handy, because that buff is great. It gives you, like, a, a health and stamina regen buff. Looks like comfort's cap maybe with type of furniture. Yeah, very well might be. So, um... This guy down here has, uh... Under his comfort, he's got some different things. So we can do like different types of tables. I gotta make more nails, I guess. Um, talk to this guy, we'll make some nails. So with a few more nails, we should be able to make some more stuff. I can swap out that crude table I put up there in, in favor of one that's actually nicer. Let me go with the side tables. So we got to uh, carve nightstand and takes resin. Well, they kind of all do. This gives plus two comfort. The carved nightstand gives no comfort, so we don't really want the carved nightstand. We'll take a wooden table. <laughs> the, the bathtub and the toilet and the sink all give uh, all give comfort. Oh, get him. But I, I don't think it affects, like, every floor, so, like, unless you're planning to, like, set up your bed in your bathroom, it doesn't seem like you'll be all that much better off. Oh, crap. Wooden table. That got me to 16. So I guess, I guess I was getting plus one on the other table and we got plus two on this one. Uh, it looks like the dishes actually sit at a better level on this one too. Nope, nope, that one actually sits in the, in the wood. Maybe I should put a candle on there. It'll add illumination and make the table look a little more finished. more strength. Dang it. Strength is the bane of my existence in this game. <laughs> I feel like I'm just constantly really going to strength. Alright, I don't need this old bed anymore. We can delete that. Uh, I might as well put that second fireplace down on the second floor. Until I get around to swapping all the other ones out, we can just uh, use this to keep this floor nice and warm. Plus it adds a little bit of light. materials in there here so all these can go in there might as well put the crude furniture and dishes and stuff in there too I, once i get to the point of decorating well actually i can put that table on the second floor with some of these dishes make it look like our alchemist is uh a little more comfortable instead of just standing in an empty room by himself kind of in the way though whatever Trying to put the mug on the fireplace, but it won't let me. <laughs> See, like that. Oh, the one's actually flying above the table. That's weird. So it snapped to 
All the- oh, that sucks. All the things that were snapping actually snapped to positions above the table. That's not cool. Gotta keep the snapping tool off, I guess, with these things. Even though it looks like the table's going through the bottom of the plate. Mine is mortar! Uh, it's way up north. I have to go get it. Um... I think I had seen an, uh, an alchemy bench that somebody had that was uh, a little fancier, too. Had, like, all the vials and such. I gotta make his kiln, so I gotta find lumps of clay. The craft takes time. The craft takes time. Farm soil. I'll have to figure out how to dig uh, farm plots and stuff, too. I have this scrappy hoe, but I don't think you can use it. I don't think it has an option for, like, tilling the soil. I can figure out where I put it. It's in one of these storage boxes. <laughs> uh, oh, the scrappy. Oh, that's a rake. It's not even a hole. That's probably why. That's some old books. All the stuff that's not crafting, I probably shouldn't bother keeping in a magic chest. Takes up room in there for no reason. Okay, so... Yeah, all I have with the, with the rake is the option to flatten. Oh, and it's doing it vertically, that's weird. Oh, cool. So you can make slopes. Neat. Anyway, not useful right now. It only flattens things. Uh, I need to put the purple berries in the dryer. Purple berries. Gotta go watch the stream later. Alright, see you later, see. It's hip to be square. Don't support to the walls uh, to hold the floor. Nice detail. Yeah, as soon as you, like, put the floor in, it just automatically adds that stuff. There's a lot of those little details it adds. It's, it's kind of cool. I think they did a really good job on the building. It's finicky, but, like, the ability to go down to individual block level detail when you want to make changes is kind of great. Um, if you're really into, like, all the building and stuff, anyway. I've got these scrap arrows I should probably be using. Um, somewhere here I had bones. I'm trying to put all this stuff away. Places where it already is. I had some more meat here somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. Cook up some more meat. Carrying those potions around forever. <laughs> I wonder if cooking on the other fireplace goes any faster, or if it's the same. Oh, you can't cook on this one. Alright, so there is a difference in the fireplaces, aside from just the look. This one's just for looks. And warmth, I guess. But to cook, you have to use one of these other ones. Considering buying the game, but looking for a game with very high replayability, does this game have an end, any random events? Well, the game's not technically finished yet. It's in early access. Um, there is an end point in terms of, like, if you do the quests and you do the main storyline and you get all the shroud things and all that stuff, I think it will technically come to an end. Um, but if you're interested in, like, games that you just, like, you could build things, I think people will spend probably hundreds of hours in this game building stuff. Um, exploration stuff's fun. The combat's fun. There is a defined end, I think, to the actual, like, pre-planned quest line. Um, 
But you can just kind of play through and do whatever you want, really. It's kind of like Valheim in that way. Like with Valheim, you can go through and kill all the bosses and stuff, but you could also just do more exploring, build, do more building. It doesn't hit like a the end kind of moment. You have space in the courtyard to build a kitchen. I have, yeah, I have tons of space in the courtyard. I have no idea what I'm going to put out there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not entirely sure what to make out here. I made all this space, and then I don't know what to put here. I have the kiln here, and I'm going to put. Or not, this isn't the kiln. This is the uh, uh, charcoal kiln. Oh, it is a kiln that starts. Um, there's another kiln I'm going to build out here as well. Probably could have put the crafting benches for those other, the different vendors out here, instead of having them inside. But I figured it would give me a use for the bottom floor. And I'm not sure what the range is between the the benches and the magic box. Like, how far, how far can you stretch that before it doesn't recognize it anymore? Actually, it might be worth testing. Let's pick up our table. I'll move it out here and see if I can still craft with it. Still have all that. Make sure I don't have logs and stuff on me. Yeah, that's got pretty good range on it, actually. I wonder if it'll work anywhere inside the confines of my flame altar. That's cool. So you can reach your magic boxes anywhere inside your uh, inside the range of your flame altar. That's cool. Very nice. Is this game worth it now? I mean, it's uh, I paid what like thirty bucks Canadian or something for it. I'm gonna get way more entertainment value out of it than that. So for me, it's worth it. For you, I don't know. It sort of depends on what you're looking for in a game. It's like a blood moon out there. That's creepy. Must be Horde Knight. Oh, I wanted to move that drying rack. I think I'm going to. Um, oops, no, I don't want to cook. I want to pick that up. I'm going to put the crafting bench on this side instead. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> Might be worth putting the vendors outside, um, and just having this bottom floor as storage. Just wonder if it would look weird because it would be kind of empty. The hunter. We'll make her teleport. She'll love it. Hang on. Okay, and then I can take. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but we can move the storage boxes over here. I'll take this wall up with storage. Go that way. I guess if I like. Oh, the vendors have to be under under shelter. But what does it qualify as under shelter? Let's find that out now. So, if I take. Uh, Whatever, we'll take we'll take the hunter's lady because we're already playing with her. Stick her out here. I mean, it looks like I can still craft with her, and she's not technically in shelter. She's standing under the sky. Could stick her on the lawn out front and she still crafts. There's a recipe that has an X in her for not. There's a recipe that has X not under shelter for the hunter. 
Where? Oh, sheltered. I see over there. Yeah, okay. So she can make some stuff, but not others. Interesting. Okay, let's see if um, just being underneath this roof is enough to qualify as being in shelter. Yep, yeah, says so she's sheltered. So she only needs a roof overhead. This doesn't look like it has to be... Um, doesn't have to be a fully enclosed room. She doesn't seem to care about warmth. That's a plus. It seems though it's only some things that she needs to be sheltered for. Huh. Okay, but that helps. Look at the top left corner to see if it counts as shelter. Oh yeah, it just does show sheltered there, yeah. Takes a moment to show up though, doesn't it? It's like you're good right up to the very edge of the roof. Is that you or YouTube? Uh I don't know. I mean, my stuff looks fine. Put her in here for now though. I'll let her keep warm. And I accidentally ate my meat. Giggity. Okay, fireplace, I guess I can put it at the back now, since I picked that up. Give them a little bit of warmth. You're welcome, for my magnanimous actions. I'm upset I had to change out for this weapon. <laughs> the Wailing Blade looks so cool and I like the I like fighting with it. This one does more damage though. I'm sure we'll find other weapon options that will be uh, better, good, whatever. But for now, we're gonna go with this mace thing. It does attack really fast, but it's just not what I wanted to work with. The sword just feels better somehow. Okay, so. I have a little bit more to do on this, I think. We got a little bit more. I'm going to change the roof up in the courtyard and make it smaller. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, though. Let's go do some adventuring. There's got to be things we can find out here. Sorry, you're going to get lag for a bit when I open the map. The game does not like having the map open. I do not know why. Uh, the Alchemist Mortar is over there. I've got a home over here. Let's go teleport there. That fancy 20 minute buff is nice. Uh, I probably should actually mark that. That's farther away than I thought it was. Over by Lone Thistle. It's my Lone Star. I guess I could have just followed the exclamation point. Uh, drink some water. Yeah, what are you doing? Come on, buddy. Stop rubbing on the microphone. I haven't been following this closely. It looks like you got a hell of a build there. Yeah, it's a decent start to one anyway. It's nothing that's, like, super crazy, but... I feel like it's a good starting place to learn what you can and can't do with the building, how stuff needs to be set up. Ha! <laughs> Screw you, wolves! I'm belly sliding! <laughs> We're out of here! Oh, crap! <laughs> All right, I was just joking about the screw you. Okay, uh, seriously. Oh, this weapon is not as powerful. This doesn't feel as powerful. Now, granted, these are level seven wolves, but to the same level as me. Okay, Timber, get down. I love that there's enough of a slope on the ground. You can just slide on your stomach all the way down. <laughs> go, go, gadget toboggan. Exactly. We're just out here tobogganing, living our best lives, you know. It's not a house here, so we're gonna go loot it. 
I bet there's going to be a point where we can build with these types of tile roofs and these walls. Oh, b -b -b bees. Found your weakness, though, you little jerks. <laughs> the tree's protecting that last one. Come on. Do I have to chop the tree down to actually get that one hive? Well, I got it. Something. I got something. I got wax. I was hoping to get uh, some more of the honey. Ooh, can I take that candle? I want that candle for my base. Look, they got like little signs and stuff. That one's broken, but... I want this kind of like stonework where you've got the little bits of wood and sticking out of it. Almost like floor joist ends or something. And I want my windows to look like this. I want this kind of stone. I don't want the crude stone I have. Hey, look, they got all kinds of cool decorations in here. They've even got a better stove than I have. It's definitely more to unlock. Gotta be. So it's a tavern. <laughs> I want, I want, I want. That's right, I sound just like my kids now. <laughs> I need a total of 80 of those uh, old books to make the, uh, make the stack of books decoration. A little work to do there. I wonder why. I guess maybe that's just from knocking down the upper level. Although, actually, I didn't get all the way up to the upper level, did I? I wonder if I can climb up there. Maybe there's a chest or something hiding up there. I can't get in there from here. I have to fly in there from the cliff edge or something, but that's too far. The glider drops too quick. Oh well. That was a path. Where's the road go? Are prefab structures destructible to the same degree as your house? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, I don't have the building tool right here, so if I ha do I have any stone on me? So, in the beta, you were able to deconstruct pre-existing buildings by, by putting down a, a flame thing next to a building, and then you could just use your building tool to strip it apart. I think they might have nuked that, though. In order to, like, avoid having people, like, get access to the building pieces before they would normally unlock them. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, you can't you can't take these apart anymore. I dismantled the table though. Uh yeah, I can't pick any of these up. So you used to be able to do that, but you can't anymore. Is that orange rock a new ore? Which orange rock? Hold on. Uh to get rid of your flame, you just commune with the flame. Extinguish. Takes like 30 seconds. It'll disappear on its own. Oh, over here. Ooh, that does look like a new ore. That might be clay, actually, by the looks of it. <laughs> no, it's just stone. That's weird. It is clay. Hard to get chunks of it, though. I'm getting more stone than anything. I 
Hooray! Oh, that opens up the uh, the tile roof. Oh, after I built all those roofs, now I have tile roofs. Are you joking right now? <laughs> now I'm gonna want to change all my roofs to this. Son of a crap! Oh, there's a whole bunch of it here. Uh, where am I? I wish I could name the marker. I never even noticed I could fast travel to the last visited altar. <laughs> so wait, maybe you can save it for the floating castle? Yeah. We're gonna need like regular dirt for that. A lot of it. Deformation reminds me of Astroneer. Yeah, kind of, doesn't it? Especially with the like, little chunks of stuff sticking out in it. We're like, sweet, we found some polymer composites or whatever it is. Compound. Didn't play the game in a while. Maybe leave a fast travel here? Yeah, I might actually. Curious how much clay will be in this one area. Looks like I've already gotten quite a bit of it out. How much did we get? So all that got me 78 lumps of clay so far. I got more <laughs> I got more rock than clay out of all that effort. Okay, have I got skill points I can spend? I've got eight points I can spend. Let's do... When you mine a resource, you have a 10% chance to get an additional resource. It's only 10%, though. Is there other... Endurance... Increase your endurance attribute by one. Increase the stamina by 10 per attribute point. Runner... Endurance... Uh, stamina consumption from sprinting on dirt roads is reduced from 90% to 80%. I mean, that's... Slightly better. Good metabolism. Swift shot sustenance. Stamina consumption while climbing is reduced by 50%. That could be handy. I was hoping there'd be like another mining option there, but there doesn't seem to be. Um, just what's down here in the base level. I'm gonna spend points on this because I've been doing a lot of gathering and it's I keep having to fix my tools. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. Minor 10% chance to get additional resource. If you dig down far enough, you find a dragon. You're right. <laughs> on today's episode of this old house, Cryptic Foxy shows you how to make a building inspector grow gray and bald. <laughs> what do you mean you stuck that up there with bubble gum? Base duration for the rays above is increased by five minutes. That is a pretty sweet perk. Let me get that. I kind of want that minor one. Dexterity, airborne, glider consumes 30% less stamina. I want that though. So I can glide a little bit farther. Increase your movement speed while sneaking. That would be good. Draft would also be awesome. Too many good skills. All right, it does seem like there's a there's a half decent amount of clay under here.
That one's already running out. I don't know how far that's gonna spread underground over here. Um, there is more rock there with it. I've got a fast travel point that's already like right here. It's not far away. So I don't think I'll put down another one that's right this close. Should probably fly this stuff home quickly. Just so I'm not taking room in my inventory. We might find other things I want to grab. <laughs> this old house featuring cryptic fox. Be like, today Joanna and I are redesigning this thing. Uh, leave the string here. I don't really need these arrows, but I also don't need those being a crafting box. Crafty Carol. Alright, where's my bench? Fix my stuff. There we go. Sorry for the lag when I open the map. Can't help it. Uh, fast travel. <laughs> this old castle. Be like, we bought this castle in Waco, Texas. For $35,000. We're gonna renovate it. Building's my fave, but I think my second fave thing about the game is that I can do adventuring whenever I feel like it, rather than being forced into it. Yeah, it is nice to have that freedom of choice. Can I make it up that slope? I want to get up high so I can glide farther. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I didn't catch the down slope right this time. I'm not gonna be able to glide as far. Oh, yeah, I found flintstone, like, just... A little pocket of it right in the ground. Holy wolf and crap! <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Oh my lord! Oh lord! Alright. That was fun. <laughs> wolf payback time. They sure tried. Oh look, the bodies mat down the grass where they're laying, and when you take them away, the grass goes back. You can really only like, climb ladders and stuff though. Matters or ladders in those uh, meshwork things you find in places. There we go. Ah, oh, I had it. <laughs> I love when you can skim along the ground like that. That's great. What's this? Ooh, different type of flower. Flax. Flax seedlings are available at the seed bed now. Oh wow, I definitely need plant fiber, so this is a good source for it. It looks like the forest has way more plant fiber. Surprise, surprise. Because this is definitely forest now. We're not in the regular territory anymore. It's like we've sw swapped biomes now. I wonder if the trees give you just the regular logs or they're a different kind. Hardwood. Yeah, resin out of it too. Okay, so surely there'll be hardwood things we can build. Oh, found beets.
Vegetable, we can make a vegetable puree. Yum. That sounds gross. <laughs> the heck are you? You don't know what it is, kill it. Oh my god. Oh, it's on my head. Oh lord. Oh, it's, it's actually ticking damage off on me. How do I get rid of this thing on my head? There it goes, it goes on its own. That was ridiculous. That kind of plant is that? Oh, it's got a poison sack. Copper poison arrows. I don't even have copper. Oh, that's the uh, clay I was digging. Sweet! I love that we're finding new stuff. Come on. My double jump not working. Probably shouldn't wingsuit through trees, but gotta live on the edge sometimes. Oh, that's shroud down there. The buildings out in that stuff. There's a village there. Wonder if I'll be able to climb up that slope after. Yes, I can. Funny how the first instance of something that's copper isn't in the forest, <laughs> in the forest. Yeah, isn't that funny? Just like, uh, just like uh, certain other games we might have encountered before. <laughs> Is your uh, okay? Another kind of mushroom I can make. That looks like another violet flower right there. Oh, I'm doing terrible damage against those things. Trout sack. Organic bag containing highly concentrated trout spores. Seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to take out of the shroud. <laughs> Where'd that little thing zip off to? Ah, I got out of the shroud. Sweet. That's creepy. On what dead scale would you uh what would you rate this game in its current state? Uh I don't know. I mean I'm not that far into the game. I would give I would give it probably at least a seven or an eight. The adventuring's fun. The building's cool, we've done a bunch of that today. Um I'm still working on unlocking more things so I can build some more interesting structures. How did that wall sparkle? That's weird. Look at that. I think it's coated in something. Yeah, the adventuring's fun, combat's fun. I don't know, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. If you enjoyed Valheim, it's, uh, I think it's, it's in a it's in a similar vein. I think you would probably enjoy it, but. More shroud spores. Like a whole ruined town here. Okay, I need, I need a better bow or better arrows. <laughs> These guys are a little tougher than they were before. That is a lot of dudes. I can use a little more stamina.
find the targeting a little funky in this game sometimes because I'm not very good at switching targets. There's got to be like a like a single button you can hit that moves it from one target to another instead of having to like release the target and reposition. Hector Fox, no wonder I haven't seen you in a while. I have regularly on during the daily. No, so this week I took a few days off work because uh, Entrada was coming out and I really wanted to play it. But last night I didn't stream, because I was playing Daddy Taxi. $2.59. More bucks! Ooh, chain lightning! Oh, okay, I might have more interest in magic now. <laughs> grenades. I probably should equip some grenades, because I keep forgetting I, can, I have them and I can use them. I have them on my other, uh, my other equipment bar. Oh, this guy's level 15. Wait, are you some kind of a boss? What's your deal? Oh! Oh my god, that hurt! I came in quick. Oh, okay. I would really like you not to kill me now, please. Uh... Oh, I gotta go. Jesus! Calm down, big boy! Oh, he's got a follow-up swing. I see. I see. You're gonna be like that, are you? Ow. Count me with it again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on you also. There we go. Well, he wasn't a boss. He was just tougher than me. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm running out of shroud time. Where was that pillar I climbed out here that got me out of it? I think it was this one. There's trees up top. This might be it. Woo! Okay. Sort of looked like a Souls game. <laughs> no, the combat's not that different from uh, from other games in the genre. A little bit of dodging and stuff involved. You could dodge and parry. Uh. All the weapons have a particular attack pattern. <laughs> okay, I think that castle type building over there might be where I need to go. Oh, hold on, let's change up my thing here. Um... Bandages I'm not likely to use in combat. I can use the medical potions instead. Some of that. Man, if I gotta fight level 15 guys, though, I'm only like... What level am I? Oh, I'm level 18. Oh, wait, no, that's my bow that's power 18. I'm level 7. <laughs> so, level 15 guys are a little tougher than I am. Mind you, we did kill him. Can't be that tough. Oh good, this isn't in the shroud. Sweet. Okay, we got a poisonous cellar. That sounds fun. Let's look upstairs first. Can you repair damage to gear? Or, uh, yeah, so the it'll if you use it to the point where it breaks, you can't uh, you can't use it anymore. 
Uh, but then you just take it back to your base and fix it. Use a workbench and it uh, fixes up right away. I'm trying to get 80 of those books so I can make a decorative one for my base, but... It's really foggy in here. Look at all these books! Destroy them all. I've got everything but warmth here. I could sleep and pass the night away. I guess. Let's accelerate time. We'll get out of the get out of the nighttime frame. You know, when, when daytime rolls around, he, like, rolls over onto his back. Ooh, what are those? They're making booze in here! I bet you this is gonna be a crafting bench that we can make, eventually. So I hope it is. Oh my lord, they got all kinds of cool stuff in here! Can I take you with me? Doesn't do a lot of damage to it. <laughs> a little more damage from the pickaxe, but uh, these don't seem to be breaking. I guess I can't take them with me. That is a shame. I don't know. Never enough! My spirit is broken. Can I really blame the people for turning away uh, from my potions in their desperation? Most of my visitors these days are rats and other sad pests. So far they've not proven to be great lab partners. There must be a better way to clear the shroud, to overcome it. Perhaps I should reconsider my efforts. Found Balthazar's bathroom. He's got reading with material in his bathroom. Checks out. We got a ladder on one side and a staircase on the other. You use explosions? The explosives seem to destroy stuff though. So instead of like gathering the materials from it, it would just like destroy it outright. So over metal scraps, what's that? Just cloth. Oh, look at this little rooftop. I like this. Dude's got his own rooftop terrace thing. This was not a good idea. Perhaps uh, such bewildering and unusual implementations for my button causes more issues than anticipated. I thought locking my laboratory door this way would be useful, but my back pain tells me otherwise. Soot besmirches my feathers and my spine aches. This was the worst idea. <laughs> it was my worst ideas. Really? Found the button. I probably opened up something down in the lower level. Club of Defiance! 39 damage! That's gotta be a two-hander. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Oh, cryptic smash for six damage. <laughs> it's not very powerful. Probably works better on enemies. Power level 39. I think this thing I'm using is like 20 something. Ooh, there's a flame thing there we can collect too. Oh, the textures aren't loading in. 
Spider! I've always been fond of birds. They weave through the wind so effortlessly to embrace the horizon in these trying times. To discover whatever it is you seek, free of all corruption spreading beneath. Such a wondrous journey. Mayhap mankind can conquer the skies through invention? I shall craft a glider and voyage to the hills from here. One way or the other, I'll land among the Blue Jays. <laughs> yeah, probably face first. Doing about 80 miles an hour into the ground. I guess I could have climbed up the stairs to get up here. Swing and a miss! You know what I'm looking forward to finding is a uh, place where we can mine metal. We don't have to keep like scrounging for scraps everywhere all the time. It's a spiky looking door. This must be the door that opened. There's his mortar and pestle we needed. I want all this other cool stuff in here though. I hope when we give him this mortar it'll it'll give us all this other decoration stuff. Copper poison arrows. I don't see any hidden dungeon wall buttons in here. Fifteen hours later, what? Oh, that was from earlier. You were talking about when I was smashing the. Uh... Trying to smash the copper thing. All right, uh, thirty-nine versus twenty-five. I'm gonna take the one-hand weapon for now. Doesn't do as much damage per hit, but it. Uh... It is strong. Uh, I saw a flame thing I want to collect. Oh, it's up there. I gotta get a uh, crap. I gotta go back upstairs. We gotta glide across the gap so we can get that flame. Flame fox, the flame. We got it. We're reading material too. Flame shrines, a rather adventurous landing, but I'm quite satisfied otherwise. After all, I found a flame shrine. I postulate that the ancients leave behind a spark after they expire. Their light joins the flame and abuse all knowledge collected throughout their lifespan. At times, however, they rest in these shrines, atop cliffs or amidst faraway caves. What whispers of wisdom are they hiding? Also, I was gonna get down from here. <laughs> that is a cool looking house they built there for that guy. Uh, alright, where are we now? Something south of me. Where's south? Oh, up the mountain. I don't know if I can get up there. This mountain may prove too steep. We'll find out. Oh, God. I wish I had binoculars sometimes. Um, it definitely looks too steep. That was interesting tumbling. We could probably dig our way up to it. I don't know how long that would take, though. Wait, what is that? Oh, crap. Oh, it's a tree that didn't render in. Huh. <laughs> Chin landing is fine. Another one of those fancy towers over there. Yeah, I definitely can't get up that mountain. It's too steep. I'm gonna have to find another way around. I 
No oh, crap. <laughs> Little jerk. Postulating thing on my head? That's disgusting. Get the heal off the berries this time. I can make that. Is it possible to mine stairs into the cliffs walls? Yeah, you can dig tunnels and stuff. The The tricky part is that um, because of the way the flame shrines work in this game, or your flame altar, rather, uh, you can spend a whole bunch of time carving stairs into the cliff, but then when you log out and come back in, it'll all be reset right back to the way it was before. The only stuff that is retained is the, the things that are inside of the space of your flame altar. So as a temporary measure, you can certainly do it. Uh, you just can't expect it to be there later when you come back. This is all flintstone here. way sort of up the mountain. Oh. What is that? Other than the dog barking. What is that? It looks like there's like a, supposed to be a castle there, but it's all flat. Huh. Alright, well that's fun. Kinda wanna check out what that is, but there's uh something over here we gotta do. Mistberry catacombs, maybe that's what that is. Maybe this is the entrance to it. Huh. Yeah, that must be it. This has gotta be Mistberry Catacombs. I wonder if I can just like go into it at any point or the entrance point matters. Oh man, look at the textures are not rendering in. That's weird. Go to journal. The Queen's Tomb. Oh, I see. Carpenter wants you to reach the hidden tomb of the former Queen to unearth her treasures. The location's marked on your map. Okay, so that's why this is uh, so big. It's the Queen's Tomb. I guess that makes sense. Uh, it's an awfully large, flat area they built for her, though. It's not a very interesting tomb. This maybe they weren't people who weren't expecting people to visit from above. I really wonder if there's a like a particular entrance to it, though. New location charted, Miss Bury Catacombs. How about that? That's freaky. <laughs> what a weird way to climb. Okay. I have a little bit of stone. I think I'm going to put a, a, a flame altar here. No, I don't have any stone. Uh, but I can get stone. I'll put a flame altar up here so we got a way to get back up here. Um, this doesn't matter where I put it for now. There we go. That way we can teleport home with all our stuff and get uh, get all that returned, and then I think I'll probably tackle that tonight. We'll come back to the Mistberry Catacomb tonight. 
check all that funness out. Let's go back to my home base. We'll give the uh, the alchemist his uh, his mortar. Oh, it says I have to place it actually. Looks like something that'll be filled uh, top to bottom with traps. Yeah, probably. Probably build a launch tower there. Maybe. The glider only goes so far, and so does your stamina. So you're sort of still limited in your in your capability that way. Where is uh, there? It is there. So I got to place that thing. Hey. There you go, bunny. I found it. I got your stuff. I did your thing. Ooh. So I can make greater health potions. Um, Wisp of light. The prison Wisp of light. Okay, we did that before. It's like this weird, like, rainbow-colored light that flies around. It's kind of distracting. Flask of the fell. Shrug runs power not only the fell, but whoever drinks this flask. Increase stamina by 20. I've got one of those already. I don't have strawberries, though. I haven't even seen those. Um, bug dust, glow dust, spiritual cane. It's got these things here, like I'm supposed to craft those things to like, complete a quest. I can make goo. Mm, who wouldn't want goo? A sticky substance to bind chemicals. Yum. Need a firefly. We got a healer set and a mage set now as different, uh, different armor types. Plus 30% magical crit strike chance. That's cool. And tools and components. The mortar. <clears throat> Fine mortar. This should enable the alchemist to broaden their crafting spectrum when placed within their reach. Well, I've already got that. I just do just like man, let me make it for him. Fascinating. Or find it rather. Uh, this thing though. Oh, it's like an enhancing item, but you can't actually craft anything on it yourself. I wonder if there'll be similar enhancing items for the other vendors. So Shroud's getting residuals from this game? You know. <laughs> I saw they posted on social media, though, that... Uh, ooh, wait, I can enhance equipment with this guy? Huh. That's weird. I thought that was only with the blacksmith. That's cool. Hope you'll return. Hope you'll return. What do we got down here now? yee -hoo. Yee -hoo. We need a table saw. I need a table saw, too, Hey. Eh? Uh, expand my repertoire. You can make one out of saw blades. A big surprise, huh? I used to get saw blades from the thorn hole before. Well, you know, pop to it. Ooh, medium chest plus three. Watch out for splinters. I'll watch you for splinters. Sweet. All right. Well, it's already after two o'clock. I got to crash here. For not crash, but I got to I got to split for now. I got stuff to do with the family and things. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out this afternoon. Appreciate the uh, super chats. Or this morning, I guess we started, because I started at 11. But this morning and this afternoon. Thank you for the uh, hugely generous super chat, too. That crazy $100 super chat that came in was huge. Gifted memberships and stuff from Chris. Sakari, old school. Thank you all for the super chats. Greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm going to be live again tonight, around 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm planning to play some more of this. We'll uh, go hit up that tomb tonight and see what happens there. Uh, but thanks so much, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.